Let's make this really super simple wine cork craft heart. So you're just gonna need to grab a collection of corks. You can either get these yourself by drinking all the bottles of wine, or you can just grab them like I did at the thrift store. They sell them for like pennies. This one was a bag of about 200 for $2. To make the base of the heart, you're gonna wanna start with two corks glued together with hot glue and then go back and add the single cork at the bottom. Then you're gonna start with the third row and attach three corks with just a simple string, string, stream of hot glue. And I just chose to put the glue down the center. You can put the glue on each side of the corks, whatever works best for you. And then now you have this little triangle which is gonna form the base of your heart. The fun part of this project is picking the different wine cork colors. They're all a little bit different. The shades of pink and rose and burgundy are all different. And so I just tried to kind of make it as close to an ombre looking heart as possible, but that may not be possible depending on what kind of corks you can get your hands on. So this process is just repeated and I ended up making a row of one, two, three, four, five, and six, I believe. And then I go back to a row of two on each side for the top of the heart. Now I added the two pairs of corks at the top of the heart, but you can always add a third one at the tip top. I just preferred the look of the two at the top. Then I kind of made sure that it uh, stuck together. And then you're going to add a little bow. So I just grabbed some lace from the Dollar Tree and tied one of my quick little easy zip tie bows. And it just ended up being like the perfect little addition to the top left hand side of the heart. Next, I'm going to actually end up adding a piece of rhinestone bling to the lace bow. I felt like it just needed one more little pop, something extra to make it stand out. I decided to add a little bit of greenery. So this was just some pieces of faux fern that came off of another floral piece from Joann's. And I just took the tiny little fronds that came off the very bottom of the fern pieces and tucked them right inside the little bow feature. And I thought it looked pretty darn cute. So <clears throat> then I went ahead and took the hot glue, glued the back of the cork heart so that it would adhere to the canvas. 
I decided that this canvas reversed over to the back side was the perfect place to show off this wine cork craft. Of course, it could be used on its own, but I liked the idea of it being framed a little more finished out. I trimmed the frame with the lace, the same lace ribbon that I put as a bow on the heart. And right here, I'm just tucking in a little bit of those uh, fern fronds into the bottom of the reversed out canvas, just to kind of bring back together the fronds that are on the wine cork heart. I just thought this turned out so cute, so adorable as a neutral Valentine's piece of decor. If you loved this DIY and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell for notifications.